public art has been such a big passion of mine because there's no barrier to experience it. And I wanted to build on that and actually get everyday people involved in the art making process to demystify the creative process and welcome more people to interact with artists and make art and feel more comfortable with creativity in general. The original concept for my work was from an ink spill. I've built it into my process to have a little bit of chaos start me off <laughs> and then react to that chaos with my true nature, which is just like meticulous straight lines. <laughs> I usually fill around 300 water balloons, 100 for each color. I have all the primary colors and then I also have hundreds of water balloons that are just filled with water so that the kids uh, or whoever's participating can throw the paint against the wall and then also use the water to spread it and to blend the colors. And it just offers more of the experience of throwing balloons against a wall, which is pretty much what everybody is most interested in. <laughs> it usually takes between 10 days to two weeks to complete it. The paint has to dry overnight and then I come back and use black and white on top of the color that the kids created. I did work with a high school art class where the kids joined me with the black and white paint on top of the water balloon and that was really fun too and I also did a mural in Cuba with the same concept where the kids were working with me the whole way through. Like I'll always show them a sketch first and be like this is the concept but it's important for them to express themselves authentically and not just try to appease me. I just look at what is in front of me and start to let the color palette and the texture that the kids created tell me where the elements should go or would be most successful. A really memorable experience for me to have people trust me to metabolize their content and give them something beautiful and creative. I like being a tool for storytelling, finding inspiration from the environment that I'm in and the stories that the people are telling me and using that to collaborate with them and create a work of art that they are proud of and that reflects them and their story, but also is executed on a really high level. If it's too mechanical or if it's too clean, it just doesn't convey the entirety of what I think art, or at least good art, is supposed to be about the humanity and connecting yourself to your humanity and being real about what it is like to be alive. Consistent success of this project that I've witnessed is the sense of self-esteem that the participants get. And even if it takes a lot of encouragement to get them to participate, the moment they throw that balloon and immediately see the repercussion of their decision to try something that maybe made them uncomfortable or confused is really rewarding the transformation of, or the recognition really, of like, I did that, I can see my existence on the outside of myself and I'm a part of something. For me, that's the greatest success of this project is just seeing kids from all ages and backgrounds come together to see the expression of their existence in a really messy, chaotic, playful, creative way that they, didn't expect and can't get in their daily life. I want to work with kids who are developing their understanding of the world and I want to make sure that art and creativity and freedom can continue to be a part of their understanding of the world because it's really important. <laughs> I think it's fitting that this is the next step of what I'm trying to accomplish. It feels familiar but it also feels really exciting and, and bigger.